Oh, this is my room. You can't see my name. Let's open the door. Unlike the other rooms, we don't have um, a stair here. It's just flat, so people in wheelchairs can, can get in really easily. Um, you can see our house shoes. If, every, if the house shoes stand here, it means that the people are out. Just put them on my hand. Okay. Then you can see our kitchen. I think it's a really big kitchen. This is all mine. And you can pull it down so people can in wheelchairs can get it. So it's like just a little above from my side so I can see really everything in here. I don't have much stuff. I haven't been shopping for quite a while. And I always go eat because eating is so, so cheap. Okay, everything rather clean. This is our fridge. And of course, the shelf on the top that is mine. And I can share with the others, but I have to write my name on it. You can see it from there. People write the name on it. So we don't confuse the stuff that doesn't belong. This is uh, the rice cooker. I don't use it because I don't need rice that much. This is our microwave. That is not so clean. Um, of course, the top shelf is mine again. Yeah, and everything. I think it's really cute that everything is so sweet and colorful. I think you can get this cute stuff only if you go into a children's shop or something. Okay, I'll show you the toilet. Let's make light. Yeah, the door, uh, the our toilet has handles for people in wheelchairs again. And in almost every room we have these emergency buttons. And the typical Japanese toilet button chaos. So this is to clean, but I won't push them. And this is for females to clean. And yeah, and we also have one that makes sound so you don't hear each other. Okay. Doesn't stop, it slips in its own. And a little sink. A towel. Then we will go into the bathroom. Um, it seems a little bigger than the other bathrooms that I've seen because we don't have shelves under the, uh, shelves under the sink, and I think it's it's pretty low. It's like, yeah, it's under my waist. It's too low, and I have like. I'm the last one to move in and I got like the stupid shelf because if I close the door and want to get something out of there I have to dress myself or well shower without shampoo or something yeah that can happen um, oh washing machine which is quite easy to use when you get an explanation from a Japanese girl <laughs> Because I actually don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing what she told me to do. Um, our shower. Um, you shower here on like the floor. You can sit there because, as you see, it has uh, it's pretty low, and you can see though on the sides there's um, handles you can pull down to wash yourself from each angle. 
um, and then there's a bathtub. It's um, not as long as typical German bathtubs, I know, but it's much deeper. It's really deep. You can sit in it and be covered in water. I like that. Yes. So, let's close this again. And then I will show you my room. I'll just put the light out. Okay, so I'm in room D, as you've seen from the names. Let's turn on the light. I even have a remote for the light, which I don't use because I don't understand it. Um, again, uh, you can see it's a door you can just push around, other than some doors that you um, like open the normal way and the you close the door down here so everything is made for people who are in a wheelchair I think that's really interesting um, I have a really big room for clothes I can go in actually I can't go now because I got my suitcases in there but you get the idea this is my bed. Um, it's pretty low. The first few nights when I sat down, I was afraid that I would fall because it's maybe you can see it from there. It's not very high. So, um, yeah. I like the cushion. This cushion is amazing. Everyone is complaining about it because it has like plastic stuff in it and it's really hard. It's like uh, stones or something like that. but. I love it. I really love it. Then we have my dental and my other dental hanging right there. My desk tidied up because I uh, cleaned my room today. And here's my secret chocolate drawer. Uh, well, it has, uh, if you, um, whoever steals my chocolate will die. I don't mean that seriously, of course. And, yeah, this is my desk. And this is my balcony. Again, it has a pretty low handle and it's made to push. Um, then you have to get this down to push it even further. Uh, it has a door, so flies won't come in, but I need to now. I'm just going out. Uh, this is where I um, hang up my clothes to dry. And this is the view I have from here. Um, what you can see on the other side is uh, some kind of um, classroom building. I think the, there is some stuff for chemistry in there, actually. Because um, I don't know if you can study chemistry here, because it's more like arts and culture kind of university but there are sinks and there is a um, place for doing experiments and stuff um, yeah I'm not sure if you can come in that way um, this is the balcony of my fellow roommate um, at night you can hear um, what it's called uh, you can hear like uh, uh, um, and yeah, I really like the view from here. You see, the sky is always blue. There is not a single cloud everywhere. If you can find one, tell me. Oh, you can see the layer plane, but there is no cloud. In the morning, it's really, really cold. Um, it has about, I don't know. 15 degrees, or it feels that way. But if you go outside and it's 10 o'clock, you will sweat very much because it's so hot on the day. And even the evening is hot. So uh, I'll just sit down, put the camera on here so it looks so little. So make it like this. Okay. I hope it's almost even. Yeah. Uh, I've been here now for uh, three weeks. 
Um, I love Japan. There's been so much stuff happening that I just have to write everything down. I um, It's so much and sometimes I feel like I can't remember all that stuff that happened. Just when a week passes and I'm thinking about Monday, I don't know what I did there except for doing classes. Uh, because it's, I'm going out every day, um, going to restaurants, going to festivals. Yesterday I've been to Oct the Oktoberfest. I've met um, Austrian people singing on the stage. I got photographs and and all the people want to take photographs of me because I was wearing my dandel and um, obviously it's very, very cute. I didn't know that. And it's it was really fun. I was there with my um, host family's mother, um, with my Okasan, and well, today I was at my chedi mate's house. Uh, we were cooking okonomiyake, which was really delicious. Um, I will put up photographs in my blog, I think. <laughs> yeah. When I see pictures from Germany that there's already snow, <laughs> Um, I feel kind of sad because I think I like I like the autumn, I like fall and I like winter and here it doesn't feel like autumn or fall at all it's um, it's summer <laughs> and it's very hot and of course that's nice so going out is fun because you can go walk home you don't have to take the bus because it's not cold at all it's it's really comfortable to go around when it's oh, 23 degrees in the evening, the sun is not out anymore, you can just go home, it's really nice. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's everything, I will put the rest on the blog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too, maybe I'll show some more videos of the compass, of the entrance, the entrance ceremony. It's really interesting because we're like, it doesn't feel like a university because they um, they really care about our safety, but sometimes they're a little overprotective. Like, we aren't allowed to come late. We have to be at the university in the evening at 11 p.m. Um, after that, you get um, a little sheet um, which has a warning on it and says, Did you understand that the curfew is 11 p.m.? Please say yes and um, please don't be late again. It, I didn't do that. <laughs> I was always in time. Sometimes only for 10 minutes or something, but I was always in time. Um, but they're really strict and it's, yeah, sometimes it's a little annoying because I'm really used to the freedom I have in Germany. <laughs> the freedom of going to class whenever I want, if I want, how I want. And here I have to be really in time, I have to follow the rules and of course I like it somehow because it's part of the culture, I understand it and I love the Japanese culture but sometimes um, I would like to enjoy a little more freedom. Okay so <laughs> until the next video, I don't know when I will do it, maybe the next few days, maybe in a month, so please take care of yourself. Um, have a nice day wherever you are and bye-bye.